In this video, we are going to go over 15 things that you must know before moving to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan Barron. I'm a licensed realtor here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And on this channel, we go over all things Chattanooga, what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, and work here. And if you need help finding a home, feel free to contact me in any of the ways down below, and I'll be happy to help you guys out. Let's get on with the video. 15 things that you guys must know before moving here. So first thing, is that Chattanooga is not that big of a city. It has a population of around 180,000 people, which may seem like a lot, but in comparison to somewhere like Nashville, Nashville's population is about four to five times more than Chattanooga. So it's a smaller city and it definitely has smaller town vibes, even when you're within the city, right? You go over to Coolidge Park, you go over to the bridge and you just see not very many people just hanging out walking the bridge, they're hanging out on the uh, in Coolidge Park on the grass with their towels and, and just having a good time. You see a lot of families and a lot of young people, uh, you know, playing catch with a football or playing soccer and really just hanging out and having a good time. So you don't have that really big uh, city feel where there's traffic all the time within the city and it's hustle and bustle. It's not like that at all. It's actually very, it's a very chill city. Number two is it is a Southern culture and Southern charm is a real thing. What well, Southern charm is basically, it's like a politeness that people have in the South. When you come here, you'll always feel welcomed. People are very friendly. Everyone's always going to say hi. And you have that Southern accent, which kind of it's like a cherry on top, right? So if you're moving here from somewhere from the north, people are probably going to be a little bit more friendly than what you're used to, especially if you're moving from somewhere like New York or even like New York City or LA, uh, places like that, you're gonna feel welcome. Point number three is that Chattanooga sits in an ideal location, right? So Chattanooga is a smaller city and if you don't find what you need as far as like shopping or entertainment goes here in Chattanooga, you have Nashville two and a half hours west, you have Atlanta two hours uh, south, and then you have Knoxville an hour and a half east. So although you know, you'll know you probably find everything that you need in Chattanooga, unless you're looking for some like crazy partying and nightlife in which you would go to either Atlanta or if you wanna you know go to some honky tonks and do some line dancing, you go to Nashville, you'll pretty much have everything you need here, but if you don't, you have those three cities to go to. Now this next point still revolves around the point that Chattanooga is a smaller city. However, Chattanooga is growing a ton, but it's growing outwards rather than up. If you come to Chattanooga, you'll realize that there aren't very many tall buildings, and it's because Chattanooga is growing outwards. There are a ton of new developments being built. However, Chattanooga is still small enough to where if you are in a suburb outside of the city, right, if you're at one point, it's still only going to be like a 30 minute drive to the other side of the city. So that's super nice. Commute times are pretty short, especially compared to other places here in Tennessee. Another reason why that may be a good thing for you is because if you're not wanting to live in the suburbs, you're wanting to live out in the sticks, you want a more rural life, you can still be fairly close to amenities uh, without being right in a suburb. So that's pretty nice as well. One of the biggest reasons why people choose to move to Chattanooga and then Tennessee in general is because it has all four seasons, which is awesome. You know, we have spring, summer, fall, and winter, and a lot of people value that when looking to move to a new place. But that does come with some downsides. So in spring, it's allergy season. People have allergies here because the pollen count is, there's a lot of pollen. If you come here, it's beautiful. We're in the mountains. There's so many different types of plants and flowers. And actually a lot of people do uh, visit Chattanooga and then you know the Cumberland Mountains and Appalachian Mountains and Smoky Mountains during springtime because of the crazy amount of blooming that's happening and all of the different types of flowers and plants that you can see during this blooming season, which is awesome. But if you have allergies, they're gonna be bad here. A lot of times what you'll see is, you know, if you're driving a a darker colored vehicle, um, you can see a layer of pollen every single morning when you go outside and you start your car. It's that bad, it's pretty bad here. Check this out right here. This is a cover for my grill. And check out all of the pollen. 
But, you know, if you don't struggle with allergies, you won't have a problem. If you do, you'll probably have an issue. Now that's during spring. Summers are hot and humid. This really just depends on where you're coming from, right? If you're coming from Florida, they're obviously not as hot and humid as summers in Florida. But if you're coming from somewhere like out west on the coast, then, you know, you're probably going to uh, have to get used to the hot and humid weather. But someone like me, right? Like, yes, I do think it's hot and humid, but you have the water that you can go and enjoy. And it's a great time. You have the lakes, rivers, uh, streams that you guys can uh, go and play in. If you like boating, boating is huge here. Here in Chattanooga, there are several places uh, to go boating. You have Chickamauga Lake, you have the Tennessee River, and you have a Coey. So there are several options to go out and cool off during the hot and humid summers. Fall is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, we're in the mountains and the colors are changing and it's an awesome sight to see. If you are here and you want to visit during the fall, I really do suggest going to uh, the Appalachian Mountains and Blue Ridge Skyway, uh, driving that scenic route and then going to the Smoky Mountains as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Winters are my least favorite season because it's just dead. Uh, all the plants are dead, all the trees are dead, the leaves are gone, it's gray, it's gloomy. Uh, it's about 50% of the time that the sun actually comes out. And I personally love seeing the sun. I thrive off of the sun. Uh, and you know, when winter comes around, it's pretty gray and gloomy a lot of the time. It's very mild, it doesn't get too cold. We'll maybe have one to two snow days per year. This last winter, we didn't have any snow. So that was kind of sad, but just expect it to be gray and gloomy, but not too cold. This leads me to point number six, and that is the beautiful outdoors, right? So we are seated in a valley between the Cumberland Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains. What this means is that we have mountain views on both sides, if you travel east and if you travel west. Uh, it's awesome because you have several options to go outdoors, several, uh, you know, with the beautiful outdoors in the mountains, you have hiking, you have mountain biking, you have rock climbing, you have whitewater rafting, you have boating. There are so many things that the outdoors uh, provides you with being in the mountains. Point number seven, and I did make a, an entire point just for this, but it is the Chattanooga waterfalls. Uh, I would say that the waterfalls here, really, they're the only ones that compare to waterfalls out west in like Washington or Oregon. Some of the waterfalls here are absolutely awesome. One, you have Lula Lake Falls, you also have Foster Falls, you have Greeter Falls, uh, you have Fall Creek Falls, and you also have the famous Ruby Falls, which is a uh, tourist destination here in Chattanooga. But those other ones, if you go during the weekday, you will not find that many people there. I actually just went to film at Foster Falls, I'm sorry, uh, Fall Creek Falls the other day, and there were very few people there, and it is an absolutely uh, gorgeous sight to see. The waterfall is absolutely huge, and after a rain, after a, a large rainfall, it can be, you know, the, the water's flowing, and it can look absolutely awesome. Now, if we do get a season or, you know, a few weeks without much rain, then you know the waterfalls are gonna be empty, which is a pretty interesting sight to see. The outdoors are awesome, it's absolutely beautiful here, but one of the things that attracted me to Chattanooga the most is the affordable living. Now compared to the entire United States, Chattanooga is 9% cheaper than the average across all states. The median home price right now falls at $320,000. Now, a little trick that I learned is you know, Chattanooga and Tennessee, we don't have a state income tax, but we have a sales tax. Georgia, however, does have a state income tax and their sales tax is a little bit lower. So depending on where you live in Chattanooga, the Georgia border is not very far and there's a Costco right across the border on exit one. So what you can do is you can drive 15 minutes south into Georgia, go to Costco, and you're not gonna be paying as much in sales tax, which is nice. Stemming off the fact that Chattanooga is a very affordable place to live, it's also a growing tech hub. And one of the reasons why it's a growing tech hub uh, for you know entrepreneurs as well is because of the affordable living. Chattanooga also has the fastest internet in the country run by EPB. So if you are someone who works from home, not only are you living more affordably, but you have faster internet. Point number 10 is education. Now this can go both ways because Chattanooga is a smaller city, there's not gonna be that many options for, uh, for you know middle education, K through 12, middle school, high school. 
or higher education like colleges, right? We have a few colleges here. We have Lee University out in Cleveland. We have a few other private colleges here like Southern Adventist University in Collegedale. We also have UT Chattanooga and Chattanooga State. Now, many of these schools are very highly rated, but you're kind of limited to those schools. If we are comparing the opportunities for education and for you know the ability just to choose where your children go, go to school, if we're comparing apples to apples, Nashville versus Chattanooga, Nashville is going to win every single time. They just have so many more options as far as that goes. If you are someone who enjoys going to local events and festivals, you will never be bored here. There are so many things going on in the city and next to the river uh, that you know, you'll never get bored and it's an absolute vibe. It's awesome. We have music festivals, we have food festivals, we have outdoor events and outdoor concerts, we have sports events. We just have so much going on here. There are a ton of museums, there are a ton of outdoor activities that bring the community together. And if that's something that you're into, then Chattanooga is the place for you. One of the things that I absolutely love is the Chattanooga Market. So Chattanooga Market is open from April to December. They have it every single Sunday. And what it is, it's a local market for different arts and you know other small businesses to go and sell their things. But it's also a local farmer's market as well. So if you like fresh produce, uh, locally grown fresh produce. We have the Chattanooga market. We have a, a few smaller ones here and there as well. But the Chattanooga market is the main one. We also have the Riverbend Festival, which is an outdoor concert right next to the river. And we have tons of different artists who come and play there. We have the Tennessee Whiskey Festival. We have the Moon River Festival. If you're really into cars and vehicles, uh, the Chattanooga Motor Car Festival is unlike any other. It's absolutely awesome. You see Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, just they all come to Chattanooga and it's awesome seeing the different uh, old and new cars. This brings me to my next point and that is the culture and arts culture here in Chattanooga. Uh, there are a ton of museums, there are a, a ton of get-togethers and events and groups that you can be a part of when it comes to arts and culture. Music is a big thing here as well. Um, and as, as well as, you know, we have the art district in Chattanooga. We have the Hunter Museum of Arts. We have the Chattanooga Theater Center. We have the Houston Museum of Decorative Arts. We have the River Gallery. We have a ton more options as well. If you're really into uh, the arts and culture, then, you know, this place, we have it. I talked about Chattanooga having a small town vibe, and, you know, that brings me to my next point of being a family-friendly city. Although Chattanooga is a medium-sized city, if you're on a budget and you know you have a family, it won't be hard to find things to do and find things to entertain yourself. The Tennessee Aquarium is located downtown. We also have the Chattanooga Zoo. Uh, we have Coolidge Park where a lot of families just like to get together and you know play soccer or play ball with the kids or just hang out and suntan. We have the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. We have uh, the Southern Belt Riverboat. We have the Creative Discovery Museum. We have High Point Rock Climbing, which is an indoor rock climbing place. There's just a ton of things to do. And if you are a family, like you will feel welcomed here because there are a ton of family friendly things to do. This brings me to my next point, and that is the food scene here in Chattanooga. Now, as a real estate advisor for you guys, I have to know what the best restaurants are in Chattanooga. So it wasn't until recently where I started going and exploring all that Chattanooga has to offer as far as food goes. And I'll tell you, I have not been to a bad restaurant yet. Some of my favorite restaurants right now include Aliyah's, which is more of a high-end restaurant. If you uh, wanna go out on a hot date, if you wanna dress up like James Bond, go to Aliyah's, that place is amazing. If you're more on a budget and you want Italian food, go to Tony's, you can have a, a good lookout of the city and the food is awesome. You also have State of Confusion, we have Stir, but there are just so many options. And I find myself every single weekend finding a new place to eat and having more and more delicious food. Probably not a good thing for the wallet, but a good thing for my stomach. So if you are a foodie, you'll love it here as well. The last point, number 15, and I must mention it, uh, if you are a younger person and you love partying, or if you're an older person and you're you know, into that as well, you won't find it here in Chattanooga. The nightlife here is atrocious. Now, there are a few options. Uh, there is Whiskey Cowgirl that just opened recently, uh, and there's a few other bars here and there, but there's not that many options. If you're a real partier, then go down to Atlanta. Or if you love honky tonks and uh, you love line dancing, go over to Broadway in Nashville. 
Chattanooga, you know, you'll be entertained for a little bit, but it'll probably get old a while and you'll want to explore somewhere else. Again, guys, I am a licensed realtor here. So in any of the ways down below, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to help you guys. If you're looking to move here, I get calls from you guys every single day and me and my team love helping you guys out. Until next time, peace.